Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's actually, no, it's afternoon, see that? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we have actually been ramming. We did a, we did a couple of lifts, uh, this morning and now we are working on putting in our, um, punch out window. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to screw this to the inside of the form with a chamfer right here, uh, screw from the outside to do that. And then essentially what we'll do is we'll ram up to this level here, right? So up to the chamfer. Then we will actually drop this on top of that from the top in, which I realize we're also going to have to probably cut rebar, either cut or bend rebar. Um, so we're going to do that. And then this will drop in and uh, sit on top of the foam and these things, which should keep this uh, straight and level. Um, and then we're just going to ram all around this. We're going to put in the foam and ram all around this uh, to essentially create our punch out. So that's what we're doing now. We're going to see how it goes. Uh, we did just finish cutting all the chamfers for the outside of this because we wanted a chamfered edge on the outside of our punch out. So we cut all the chamfers and hopefully they line up. Uh, we're going to drop this in and then put the chamfers in. That way we get a nice tight fit up against the wall. So we'll see if this works. It should be fairly close to these screws poking through. See how there's a... Yeah. It should be about oh, at that okay. level. Got it. Okay. Right. So I'll tell you about where it is because I can see the screw on the inside. Right. So I'll tell you where it is relative to this screw here for Got this it. side and then we'll establish another point of reference on the other side. Got it. That way we don't have to try to measure from the top and do right, all that stuff. Right. We'll just go straight from this because I'm going to be pulling off of the foam. Okay. Because the foam is exactly at six feet. Okay. So that's where the base of that's going to sit. Got it. Yep. Which means that's where the top of this is going to sit. Got it. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Do that side first, and then I'll stick the level on it. Coming in. Go for it. You in? Yep. Oh, yep. You got it. Awesome. Perfect. So now we'll stick the level on this. Okay, now you can do the other side, 10 inches to the other side of that. Okay. Send it. Yep. I don't know why it's not going in. Go a little further uh, toward Kendall. By like maybe three inches. Ready? Yep. There it goes. Oh, dang it. It sucked it in for a second and then stripped it. All right, go ahead. That's good. Right there. Yep, you're in. Now do one in the center or close to the middle and we should be good. All right. So what we did is we put this two by four in here with a chamfer on the bottom. What we're going to do is ram to about right here so that all of it gets pushed up against the chamfer and it'll it'll come to about just, just below this uh, two by four. And then what we'll do is we'll make sure this middle section is lower than the two by four so that way the steel can drop in and set and get us on our spot right here. So what we need to do now is actually cut off the rebar that's going to come right through the middle of our window. So it's going to get a little loud and uh, sparky. Yep. Yep, go for it. Good. Yep, you're in. Look at that. <laughs> wow. Perfect. We had to come up about 16th of an inch, which, but it's still within level. All right, so now do 10 inches the other side. Okay. Coming in. Coming in. 
Oh, you're good. Oh, you went past it. Yeah. It's all right. Just put in another one next to it. Right on a beam, so I'm kind of coming in sideways. Oh, I see. Yeah, you had it, and then it popped out. Yeah. Okay, coming back in. Go for it. Good. Cool. Yep. Good. No, I think, so what we're going to do is put in our next lift, ram it all around this, but not go above this. And then we'll drop in our form and then do lifts on either side of it uh, until we are, yeah, packed up high enough. So, yeah, Let's see if this works. Where those two by fours are, you can tell that we did not ram all the way up. There's a cavity there that we will later fill with concrete. So we got the piece all ready to go. We're gonna fly it up and drop it in the actual uh, form. So here we go. Keep coming? Yeah, keep coming. You just call him a lip. We're there. You can't believe that freaking worked. It's sitting right where it needs to be in all states. Holy that moly. is Holy awesome. Holy moly. I mean, I just didn't expect it to, <laughs> to work this well. We've There's got, a little so, gap over there. Well, the gap here is because of the push out, which is fine with me. Um, so, what we could do, actually, we could, we could turn those turnbuckles a little, but I think we're going to be better off if we just put the chamfers in. Yeah. TJ! Yeah. It dropped right in like nothing. Nice. That was, uh, 
way easier than I thought it was going to be. All right. Champers and air. Champers and air. Yep. Bend those back straight. <laughs> that <laughs> looks fantastic. Look at you. I know it worked. Yay. Occasionally we do things correctly. Champers are in. Here you go. So now I need to come out, uh, bend some rebar, lay the rebar, and then we can do our lift. Foam. Foam. You've foam. got to have foam over here and over there. Foam over here and over there. I need a tape measure. Tape measure. Tape measure. Right. Look at that. Their foam, our rebar. Ready to go with the next lift. Yeah, baby. Right. So I'm going to try not to cover it and then do one more lift. So if we do two more lifts, that'll get us to the top of the foam and this piece of thing. Because I, I don't think we have time to do another piece of foam and form. Yeah. But that's when rebar is supposed to go. And we can't do rebar in a cold joint. Maybe we'll just skip that rebar. This is what it looks like. We got a little bit more to go before the window's covered. All right, the last lift of the day is in. Yep. You ready to be done? I'm ready. I'm worried. I'm worried that this is only seven inches of rammed earth on our window with no rebar. I'm thinking if we put down rebar and just do a piece that is higher on this side than on that side, we essentially slope it. So that's a thin lift, but it gets thicker as you go this way. We'll have a nice thick base over the top as opposed to a cold joint. Saying it's eight feet of length, we're gonna have to do two pieces of foam to make the length. Yeah, I think it's okay. Okay. I think I'd rather do it because I'm real nervous about only having seven inches and then a cold joint because it won't the the top of the window won't actually be attached to the rest of the wall if we do it this way. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because then then we have a piece of rebar that's above the window. Yeah, and it's sandwiched. And it's sandwiched between two pieces that are fused. I do think that's a better call. I agree. What time is it? Three thirty. Five? Yeah, we can get one more lift in. 338. Yeah. Okay. I don't even think we'll need that piece because I'll just go lower on that side. We'll put that piece of foam in later. Okay. And the end cap. Yeah. DJ, grab that two foot piece of foam. better about that? March. Good. So what we did was we did one extra lift and we put two pieces of rebar over the window on this side and one piece on this side so three total and that's two layers which is almost a foot or over a foot of rammed earth holding the window in place all connected to the wall so now we just got to ram it. Here we go. TJ's hand tamping the whole thing so we can end it for the day. All right, so we got 10 lifts done today and we are calling it a day because it is time to eat some dinner and go home. So thanks for joining our adventure. See you next time. <laughs>